Hey guys, welcome back. We're taking a look at Fan Toppies, MB12 Athena and MB12A Nightwalker. So, the characters homaged here are Minerva from Master Force, or Transformers Master Force, as well as Nightbeat. He is not in the cartoons at all, he is in the comics, but he was originally a toy that was a repaint of... Um, Minerva. So, pretty cool that they actually ended up working him into fiction in general. So, that's pretty neat. I don't know if his comic appearances came before the uh, first toy of it, but I, I'm not sure. But I know that he is canon, but not in any cartoon continuity or any continuity or anything like that. So, okay. What they come with, they each come with instructions, cards, sticker sheet, additional faces, as well as a uh, headmaster and two weapons. The two weapons are being stored in there, and I'll show you how those are stored, but additional faces, it's cool. Hers is a smiling face. His, he comes with both a comic style face as well as the G1 toy face. So, getting those out of the way. Give you guys a roundabout. And I do love that they actually repainted Athena into Nightwalker and kept that homage as well. The fact that the original was a repaint too. And I mean, they're pretty straightforward. I love the fire deco on Nightwalker. But something about Athena, just super clean, the white and the red and stuff like that. I don't do sticker sheets um, for anything, so you won't see those being used on here. But they're a nice addition to have regardless. All right, so the canopies on these do open. Uh, Minerva is breakdancing inside of there, so we're just going to take her out. They're coming out anyway. Um, Nightwalker, he's having a better time. So we'll zoom in there. Okay, so going ahead and taking Nightwalker out. The backs of these can come up as well, or you could just take up the whole thing. But the way the weapons are stored, the two guns are right here, and then there's a front part to the helmet um, when it's in head mode, both of them, the Headmaster Juniors. All right, so everything besides the faces can store. And that's in both modes. Okay. So just moving these off. The turn cell out of the way. All wheels roll on these. I mean, pretty straightforward stuff. Getting those out of the way. Showing off the headmasters themselves. Get Nightwalker there. As well as Athena. Jiminy. Okay. Darken it up some. All right. So, back sides of these guys. See that? I'll get her out of the way. I'll use him to show off the articulation. So, head, small ball joint, a little bit of wiggle there. Shoulders, a little bit of outward movement. The elbows on all of these are really tight, so watch it. Get about 90 degrees, front, back, no outward, knee bend. And that's it for the headmasters. One more view of those. Okay, and here's the vehicle mode comparison. I am going to use this footage twice, both in the Athena and Nightwalker review, as well as the Ace Hitter and Red Buzzer, because why not? They're all here. So, okay, Ace Hitter, Athena, Cab, Cap. 
Nightwalker, Red Buzzer. Official names, Ghost Shooter, Minerva, Cab, Nightbeat, Siren. In the cartoon, these three, Master Force, Toy, these two, original, 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 repaint, repaint. And then um, this one is featured in the comics. So that's what we went over. Okay, but yeah, all of them next to each other so you can see how the lineup looks. Uh, take the repaints out there just so you can kind of see how the molds look to the side by each other. Good stuff, and I will say that transforming these back into alt mode even, it's a couple minutes for each one. Just super simple transformation. Really intuitive. Yeah, darken that up a little bit. And there you go. Okay, and now we have Athena and Nightwalker in their robot modes. And each of them measures to about... Six and a half, between six and a half and six and three quarters inches tall. Okay. Big difference from the front. Difference in chest. Okay. Bit of a different deco there. Which I did. Outside of that, pretty much one for one. Minus paint. Love the flame details on. Nightwalker really captures that night beat toy look well. And that additional face really helps it too, the toy. All right. So... One thing about the molding, since he doesn't have the sirens on top, he doesn't have that extra molding there, so his front windshield can fold completely over where hers can't. Make sure you guys see the back sides of them. Pretty straightforward still. The weapons. Store on the side here. So you can put them upside down, like frontwards, backwards, however you want. There's just a little slit on there that pegs into the side of their legs. And then flip it. And then this area is really tight right here to where you get to the handle. You'll see it once you have it in hand. I'm not gonna try zooming in or anything like that, but you gotta have fingernails or a spudger or something like that. And then it has a peg on the inside here. And there's a female pegging on their palm. And they hold them pretty easy. Okay, so to show articulation, I'm actually going to let uh, Nightwalker be kind of the sacrificial lamb here. Just because I feel like with a white background, you can see him a bit better probably. So, these shoulder pieces, they do have some mobility there. Alright, so they can get out of the way if need be. But that joint on the back is pretty tight, the one that rotates it this way. So... I wouldn't say watch that, it's not like tight like it's going to break, but just know you might have to have a little force. Alright, so this whole thing flinges up, just because of the transformation. But, even outside of that, parallel. It does 360 at the shoulder. I actually like that this whole thing goes around. It looks like kind of awkward when it's upside down, but I dig it. Okay. Bicep swivel, 360. Double jointed elbows. Now because of the um, transformation, the wrist can go like up and down like that. Rotation there. And then there is finger articulation. All right. And I don't know if it's universal, but the joints on my Athena seem significantly tighter than the ones on Nightwalker. And not that Nightwalker's loosey-goosey, like marionette doll or anything like that, but it, it's definitely uh, looser than Athena. Okay, so thumb, in and out, single joint. And then the fingers, all on one joint set here. So right there, and then another one right there. So boom, okay. 
zoom it out. Looking at the waist here. So, 360. And you gotta watch those back pieces too. All right, but since we're outside now, we can take a look at the back bend, as well as ab crunch, all right? And there is some side to side movement there too. Pretty neat. Okay, now the hips. Outward, because of these, the molding on the thighs themselves, pretty rough. And the guns do peg in tight, but I'm handling it right now, so it's kind of unavoidable. All right, you see where the thighs kind of hit. Unfortunately, the hip skirts and stuff like that don't move. All right, backwards, single joint, about 45 degrees. And then, oh, the tilt's in the front, okay. And then, they go forward, but not backwards. So, definitely not bad articulation on these guys, but just not really, I guess, like high end, anything that I would consider extravagant in terms of articulation. Mid tier at best. So these guys do each come with an additional face for Athena. Same face, just smiling. And then Nightwalker. So the face that he has here is his comic look, but it comes with an orange face that was on the um, original toy of his. So to get those faces off, pop that out. Make it a little easier, take that off. But they just pop off from the front here. So there we go. Boom. Slide that back on. Make sure you guys can. She's in frame. Same thing, Nightwalker. Pop his head off. Top there. Ugh. Try to get that off. Boom. And I know my hands are covering up, but peg there. You just get the face in. piece on and boom one thing I will say I like that his face is a smile but it doesn't look like a huge cheesy grin I like the more stoic faces in general and especially since they're action shots and things like that and I do wish that they would have been, I don't know, if they were going to add additional like faces with emotions and stuff like that, they would have maybe been more angry or something. That's, that's my one critique about these. They're really good pieces, but just the general emotion to them and stuff like that comes off a bit too cheesy because, you know, why would they be running around shooting Decepticons and stuff like that while they're just smiling like crazy? So, yeah, but there you go. Again, regular smiling face for Athena, Minerva, but um, Nightbeat, Nightwalker, fan's hobby name, this is the toy face, and the face that comes on by default is the comic look. Okay, so got them all here lined up next to each other, Ace Hitter, um, Ghost Shooter, Athena, Minerva, Cap, Cab, Nightwalker, Nightbeat, Red Buzzer, Siren. Okay, so cartoon, 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 toy, toy, well, all of them had toy, but these particularly. Um, toy only. Um, comics. So, official. 
official, official, or original, original, original repaint, repaint. Okay, so looking at height, so seven inches, I'm seeing about six, six and a half. Six and a half, and then back to seven inches, and then cap is about seven and a quarter. All right, so tallest of the bunch, second tallest, shortest. Okay, so action shot of everybody together. We got Ace Hitter, Athena, Cap, Nightwalker, Red Buzzer. So formal names, Ace Hitter. Nice hitter. I start Ghost Shooter, Minerva, Cab, um, Night Beat, Siren. So, um, cartoon, 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 toy, toy. Original, 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 repaint, repaint. Okay, so overall thoughts on MB12 Athena, MB12A Nightwalker. I think that they're awesome pieces. I hate that I waited this long to review them. I was intimidated by the amount of directions on the instructions, but honestly, they were two-minute transformations, really simple, a lot of play values and stuff like that. Cool accessories with storage. I love that they do come with the additional faces, particularly for Nightwalker, so that you can have both his toy and his comic look. Overall, I mean, they're solid pieces. Fans Hobby has done really well um, with these Headmaster Juniors, and I look forward to seeing where they continue to go. Uh, it'd be cool if they did, like, the Decepticon Headmaster Juniors and stuff, but, you know, sky's the limit with this company, man. They've got a good design style to them, and their build quality, playability, and things like that, they're awesome, man. Whether you want to display them or use them as a desk bot, I think that they're all around just good. So, yeah, the only, I think, detractor for people, personally, is that they don't kind of have that fit and finish of, like, the more official Masterpiece products. They don't have that kind of, like, slavish G1 look, but at the same time, you know, you look at Master Force, that was anime, and this fits a lot more into that, like, anime stylization and stuff like that. It's really really freaking cool so i love them let me know what you guys think in the comments like share subscribe and i'll see you next review